Cheerio. I just thought about this a moment ago. I was thinking about what I was going to say to start. It's a little warm out. Uh, when I first started my channel, it's been about two years. Yes, I'm a little dirty looking. Sorry, some of us still have to work. <laughs> uh, I used to say cheerio, and everyone would say, cheerio is what you say at the end. And I Googled it, and I looked it up, and I was like, well, no. In some places, it's also a hello. So I find it funny. Nobody says that to me anymore. They're, you've all accepted that I say cheerio as a hello. And then as I started my thing, and I made sure I didn't have any boogers in my nose, I realized our girl should be facing the other way. Look at her udders. <laughs> Let's see what is in there. She's got some udders. Oh, she's rusty this way. Maybe that's why she's not, she doesn't look as hot that way, but we should still see her face, right? Okay. We want to like to welcome Deborah Sullivan to our My Two Cents family. Oh, Alba Arms, Alba Arms. <laughs> Deborah has been commenting a lot. Deborah is the way I am. When she's she puts YouTube on. She just wants to listen to it. She doesn't really want to actually sit and watch it. So she really appreciates what I'm doing on these thought-provoking videos. Again, the link below for thought-provoking videos will be there. So make sure you subscribe so that this man or woman, because there are only two of us, you know, man or woman, we don't want them to copyright strike me. So if their sub subscriptions go up because I'm reviewing their videos, then uh, it's unlikely they're going to be angry. <laughs> so, Deborah, thank you. I appreciate your words. Say hello to Maria and VG and Chicka Chicka Head and Chris Caspi. And there's lots of people that are here all the time. Okay, so this is just a little short one. It's where they have that game where you put Cool Whip or Ready Whip on a thing and it hits you in the face. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And on a side note, my animals eat more Ready Whip in our home than we do. I mean, it's on the grocery list almost every week because that's a treat that they get. My Piper, she's my feral cat that pretty much stays upstairs. She hears that. But well, she knows 9 30, 10 o'clock, mom's going to be getting some dessert. I eat dessert just about every single night. And, uh, so she hears the fridge. She knows all the other animals are there. You know, there's Floyd, the tuxedo cat, Oscar the golden, and Rudy, the decrepit old poodle. <laughs> they all love the Ready Whip. And so I just... Anyway, the only reason I buy Ready Whip is so I can get the Whip It at the end. And yeah, I said it. <laughs> okay, so here's the thought-provoking video. Again, please... Go to this person's page and subscribe because I don't want them to copyright strike me for what I'm doing. And I'm appreciating this as well. I, I drove around today and I, I listened to myself. Aren't I an arrogant ass? That's right. Okay. You know, I'm probably getting close to being off parole, but still hit like and subscribe. Hook me up. And uh, before we watch this, think about Sarah Boone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. I love all of you. I'm very, very humbled. Thank you. Let me know what you think below. See you in a minute. Okay, here we go. Look, traffic's a little heavy behind me on Georgetown Pike, so I apologize. If you want to know where I am, look up Langley High School in McLean, Virginia. I could, I could hit a golf ball from my home to the campus. Okay, here we go. Remember, I have to hit pause during the reading parts because I am not able to read as quickly as this person thinks I am. <laughs> okay. Presented here are excerpts from Shannon Watts' Facebook live stream video in which she and her family are, are interacting with a pie-in-the-face toy. I already told you I think this is a creepy toy. I, I don't understand a toy that you, you're deprecating yourself. I, I just don't like okay. it. I included my observations throughout. This is followed by a sharing of information on personality disorders and additional comments. Yeah, I, I don't understand a toy that humiliates you. How did the toy people think this was a good toy? Well, we didn't have toys like this. Yeah. Watch this toy. 
Okay, there. She just said Be Bella has a healthy resistance, but she's got mom and grandma encouraging her to hit that as hard as she can and smack her dad in the face. I will tell you, I did watch this already. I see a lot of Shannon's behaviors in her mother. Her mother is also equally as aggressive. Yes, okay, so what is fun about that? Oh, you also have a uh, ready whip on your carpet now. What is fun about this? Oh, Bella hates it, though. Okay, so she's pointing out that now two times already, Bella has said she does not want it done. Yay, yay. Where the, okay, they are in the kitchen, so they're on the, the tile floor. Where is Dieter, and why isn't Dieter eating all of this? Okay. What I see next is that Bella wants some whipped cream. Okay, so she just wants to eat it. She doesn't want it smacked into her face, understandably. Come on, system. What are you doing? People are thinking I'm buffering. What's Chris going to do with it? Oh, he's going to eat it. Oh, yeah, Bella wants some. She does. Cece got some. Bella still hasn't gotten any. She just had her hand out there. Did you see that? Well, she just wants whipped cream. Do you see that she is pretending she wants to get a mouthful of whipped cream? This is a clever joke, but not understood by Shannon. Okay. 14 seconds ago, Bella, two times in a row, said, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. She just wanted whipped cream. Chris picked his batch up off the floor, which I'm sure is perfectly cleaned because Chris probably mopped it this morning. Uh, and Sella reached down. Sella. Why do I keep saying that? Well, I've told you why, because it's Cece and Bella combined. Uh, but Cece reached down and picked some. So they've all gotten some whipped cream. I have to call it cool whip. Oh, whip. Okay. Let's do it. No, no she doesn't want it. tell you what if you notice it did take cc a second to realize it was okay so it's gonna hit her right here and then watch her face okay deborah i'm sorry i know you want to only be listening but there are some times we have to watch so watch cc's face it takes almost a whole second for her to realize this is okay you ready the whipped cream has hit her face yeah, it, it took it, took it, she's like, oh, okay, this is okay. Yeah, they're finally letting the dog have it. Okay, she did just say Bella's turn, and Bella went, no. Oh, let her eat it. It's the worst thing she's had in her mouth. To Cece, picking up the cream, Mom says, ew, Nana. Grandma says, no. Then Mom says, is that yummy, Cece? To which Cece turns to Chris. Conflicting approaches and chaotic dynamics. Okay. I assume you understand that. So Mom just told her, yuck, gross. And But is it good? Okay, so Mom, is it yuck and gross? Or is it good? And Cece's confused. So she's going to look to the only person in her life. This is disgusting for me to actually say. But Chris has been the only stability in her life. He's the only person who didn't, you know, have a bad day. And I couldn't get super excited or whatever the F she says. And then he ends up killing her. It's, can you even, oh, I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm sorry I brought that morning up. Is that yummy, Cece? No. She doesn't understand. Come on, Belle, your turn. Okay, so... Uh, before I even read, Bella's under the chair. She's hiding under the stinking chair. The chairs with those tacky-ass fabric things on them. Uh, she doesn't want it. Okay, ready? Bella now opens her mouth as Grandma will put whipped cream in Cece's mouth. Bella wants some, too, but doesn't want to come out of her safe space when Grandma calls her. Right, Bella has made it clear she does not want to get smacked in the face by this stupid-ass plastic toy, but she would like to taste some whipped cream. She's watched her dad have some. She's seen now her sister have some. 
and even the dog has had some. Remember, rest in peace, Bella. But Bella was not mature enough or mature as most kids are. She couldn't speak properly. She was, and it wasn't just a shy thing. I, I'm sure it was because of the way mom treated her. Watch grandma be just a psycho. I just want the whip it. Hold, hold her there. Oh, what? 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 Yeah, I'm going to say it one more time. What? Your daughter just went, no. It's just like the Santa Claus thing. They're freaked out. They don't want to see Santa. But you forced this. Oh, my goodness. When you're a child, your home is your, I hate using this word, your safe place. And Because there are too many adults in the world right now that use that word. But when you are two and a half and four years old, your home and your parents are your safe place. Hold her there. She doesn't want to. Okay, did you catch that? So, Grandma said, Shannon. Oh, Grandma said, Shannon. She didn't say, Shanann. She said, Shannon, it's your turn. And Bella said, no. Or, I'm sorry. Grandma said, Shannon, it's your turn. And Shannon said, no. After Bella. Or this screen says she says time for Bella. But I thought she said after. So Bella has now told us five times she doesn't want to do it. She's hidden under the chair. And when it's mom's turn, mom says, no, no, no. I'll do it after Bella. The four-year-old who clearly does not want to do it. She just wants to taste the dang whipped cream. You psycho. Look at her. Shannon often gives Chris signals off camera to do something. Now she has him look at her to signal to him to get Bella. Well, she's correct. She picked that up right there. Shannon is saying something. And Chris, fucking little peasant, is going to listen. You know, Shannon's going to spin him into oblivion. He's going to ignore that as well. All right, Bella. Oh, she does. Look at that little face. Look at that. She's got her Sarah Boom brows pushed together. It's confusing and teaches lack of empathy to have siblings witness each other's being upset. So Cece is confused why Bella doesn't want to do it, but she's okay with it because Cece's doing it. But now she, why, is, why are mom and dad forcing her to do it? She doesn't want to do it. She's made it crystal effing clear she doesn't want to do it. I can't believe it took eight years. Okay, Bella. So sad. I don't want to. I'm, I'm going to take a guess that Bella doesn't want to. Do it again. You know what? If you really look at her face, she didn't really like it in the beginning either. But let's hope the dog is at least eating this. My dogs would be eating this. Shannon and Grandma don't acknowledge she's upset. Where's Bella? She's still down there, right there. No, she doesn't want to. She's pushing herself back under the chair. She absolutely does not want to be there, Mom. What is wrong with you? Look at this fun-loving girl. Children often squeal and make believe. I'm going to get you. Okay, that is a, look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful smile. And she doesn't believe for a second her mother's actually going to force her to do something that she's told all of us, what, nine times she does not want to do. She just wants to taste the damn ready whip. Oh, mom's grabbing her. But this isn't make-believe, and Shannon hurt her arm a bit trying to get her. I don't know about that, but I don't want to. Okay, so she's now said it a tenth time. There's Dieter. Cece wants some. While Chris is cleaning Cece's face, she signals him again to grab Bella. Hey, why wasn't Mom cleaning Cece's face? Nice tile. You spent all that money and you couldn't put hardboard floors in that area. 
goodness. Even fake hardwood. It's called Pergo. <sighs> oh. I, I, I have to tell you. I must have been lighting a cigarette or something the very first time. I missed this. The poor child's got her face turned as far into her father as she can. And then the aftermath. Watch this. Oh, my goodness. I wish I knew how to slow it down. She hates it. She's trying to be fun. Remember, she also knows that 147 people are watching it right now. What I'm shocked is she hasn't said, Bella, say hi to Jennifer. Bella, say hi to Alexa. I, she hasn't. That's, hey, there's. You know what? I always look for the positives. There's one good thing. She has not told Bella to say something. Look at this child. She's horrified. We repeatedly... Okay, I'm sorry. We see repeatedly in videos and posts that Shannon's husband is expected to follow directions, as is often the case in marriages where a partner has narcissistic personality disorder. That these filmed activities are related to Shannon's work and her role as matriarch sees the deal, seals the deal. Uh, there's a lot of times where Chris is almost confused because he's thinking, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think right now he probably just wants to reach and hold Bella. Let's see what he does. But he's probably going to do what uh, NPD told him to do. Uh, I can't believe she just made her child do that. She told her ten times. I, she's horrified. Chris, Chris, pick her up. Please pick her up. Pick her up. It's in her hair. She doesn't want it in her hair. For for some, Would someone... There are three adults in this room. Would one of these three adults please respond to this child? This child that you guys made feel this way. <laughs> and remember, Shannon posted this. She was okay for all of us to see this. You know she never thought for one second when she's lying about how great Thrive is and her, her beautiful home. She never thought for one second that the rest of the world was going to find out. She was full of shit. Their home was being foreclosed, where the sheriff puts the lock on the door, and it was either August 27, 28, or 29th. It was one of those three days. But that was it. They were done. So what's going to happen after that? She's going to broadcast from a two-bedroom apartment about how great her life is? Okay, how is she going to get this two-bedroom apartment? Because she doesn't have any credit. Her parents have signed off credit cards. We already know they didn't have a lot of money. Her parents aren't buying this house for her or renting this apartment. How is she even going to get a lease? Obviously, I wish this had never happened. But I wish she would have waited four weeks because I would love to see her explain why she's left this big, beautiful effing house, making all this money on Thrive, and now she's living in a rental somewhere. She's the child is hysterical. She's she said, "Calm down, calm down." Okay, this is only for the women. You think about the last time, or if you got angry, and especially your husband, but he tells you to calm down. What does that do? That pisses you off even more. Don't tell me to calm down. Fuck off. I'm upset. I didn't want fucking Cool Whip thrown in my face, and I told you that at least ten times. It's all off. See? It's just your hair. Hey, hey. It's all off. See? It's just your hair. Say hi to everybody. There she goes. I don't want to do it. So, Cece, fi Cece, Bella finally speaks up for herself and says, I don't want to say hi to everyone. You wench. And I hate calling this woman names, but it makes me sick. I'm sitting here watching this, and I want to vomit. And she was okay for all of us to see this. I just ran my hands through my hair. And if I were Sarah Boone, as soon as I got to my ears, the hair stopped. 
I am dying to know how long her hair is. I wish we could see that in the court stuff. Okay, we don't have to anymore. Look at that face. That was funny though, right? Chris, what the fuck are you wearing? Look at... Chris is dressed like he's trying to be black. Seems like she's been made to say hi too often. I agree. Look, 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 look. Okay, so when this very first started... Bella had a moment of little peace on her face, okay? A little peace. And then she saw the camera, okay? Get ready. Ready? Okay, we're going to have CC for a second. But then watch Bella. Bella is finally appearing calmed down. And as soon as she sees that camera, my goodness, if that face doesn't change. Look, it's not on you. See? <gasps> yeah. Her eyes just focused down. She saw the camera. And she's like, what the hell, Mom? You're broadcasting me again? Right. We're not for... Exactly. Okay. I don't remember that. What joy can Bella find to look at this device to an audience who watched her painful experience? Bella looks long and suffering. Bella is humiliated. Humiliated. She cannot believe her... Look at Shannon. Look at that. She's mocking her. She is mocking her face. I will see you in Toledo. That's all I have to say. And yes, she is mocking her. I struggle to not cry when doing this stuff. What is wrong with this woman? What is wrong? Could these type of experiences contributed to Bella's unusual facial, facial physiology? Shannon is, okay, yeah. Yeah, she didn't want to. And she told you, oh, it. It make it's making me sick. My hands are to my face right now. I'm I'm shocked. Bella buries her face in her mother's neck. This moment of needed comfort and reconnection is quickly interrupted with Shannon's claims that Dieter has whipped cream on him. When Bella looks to see mom sorry. When Bella looks to see, mom tells her to say goodbye to the audience. Okay. I uh, I've I've already said it. I'm overwhelmed that this woman posts her children's like this, her children's embarrassments there. You know, that she's four. She still know. She still is embarrassed. She still has humility. Shannon doesn't give a flying fuck. It's all about selling the stupid thrive. I can't believe we didn't hear one time, oh, I did the whipped cream in my face because of the thrive. And did you think about that? Bella said 10 times she didn't want to do it. Grandma said Shannon do it, and Shannon said, I'll do it after Bella. We still haven't seen Shannon, the matriarch, take the fucking whipped cream into her face. You, you are a narcissist. Stop telling your children what to say to the fucking screen. Man, I'm, I, I'm so What do, you, what do you have bed sheets wrapped on your chairs? What is that? Okay, they were tacky, but that's worse than I even thought. Look at that. What's, she's a bed sheet with a belt wrapped around her chair. Say hi to everybody. Where's the dining room table? Oh, Laura, you know that was funny. It's possible Laura said something like, poor Bella, and I'm gonna, going to 100% agree. Bella, Laura said something like, you know, Bella's a sweet little girl, and she was hurt. And she's like, oh, Laura, you know it was funny. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. No, you don't do that, because you guys don't do that. Say goodbye. She pulled her back down. She doesn't want to fucking say goodbye. You want more pie in that face? No. Did you want pie in your face? Tickling it is an easy way to get a child to smile and laugh. It is a less than ideal way to do so. And a quick search confirmed my concerns. Okay, good. Thank you, thought-provoking video. See, I want to say she. TPV does a lot of work I don't have to do. Thank you, babe. Man or woman, thank you. Oh, this is going to bother me. I, I can already tell you. Yeah, the problem with tickling. Okay, well, that's the Huffington Post, and you can't really believe almost anything they say. Okay. 
uh, two years ago, three years ago, whenever this video first came out, I did look it up and I read the tickling thing and some of it made some sense. Um, I don't necessarily want to be tickled. I mean, think about it. Do you either? I'm going to say probably not. Say bye. Tell them. Cece, Cece just needed a spanking. Bye, guys. Bye. Mommy, Daddy, come home, put bye in the face. Want to say hi, Nana? Hold on. Look how pretty she is. She has almost no makeup on. Look how pretty she is. Why does she whore herself up? What's the Nana thing? Let me know below. My kids all called Grandma and Grandpa, Grandma and Grandpa. And that's what we called them on both sides. I don't, what's Nana? What's, hey, where's my phone? Hey Siri, what's grandma in Italian? In Italian, grandma is not. Nana. Okay, so that makes perfect sense. So in this video, they say Nana, N-A-N-A. -A. Uh, my my Australian Siri said it's Nana, N-O-N-N-A. I I digress. Or I didn't digress. I retract my previous statement. Calling Sandy Nana is perfect. They're Italian. I get it. Love you guys. See you later. Yeah. Love you guys. What, honey? What, what, honey? What, honey? But, my goodness, she is still looking at that screen. Get ready. Ready? Mommy, what, honey? She's still looking at the screen. The screen's more important. Mommy. She's Love reading you guys. it. What, right. honey? Right. Okay. So, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Watts talked about that, that, last five weeks of their lives they went and stayed at both families homes he said shannon never put her stinking phone down the phone was connected to her Hot outside is chilly. i told you about a year or so ago i started making effort of not having my phone on me all the time and it's work it's but that's what they want they want us to be connected to our phones bye. she doesn't want to fucking say bye Just personality yeah all right, love you. And then now, why don't you just uh, insult her on screen in front of your 147 people who are so bored they have nothing better to do than watch this. Fuck. In what we just saw, Bella said, I don't want to at least seven times before she got the pie in the face, then three times afterwards. Shannon Watts' live streams consistently show disregard for others except for her audience, who was a constant source of satisfaction for her. These videos, Shannon's posts, people's accounts of her, and facts about her life paint a clear picture of a person afflicted by a disordered personality. I'm going to guess it's narcissistic personality disorder. Dr. Grande will tell you all about it. It's no secret Shannon's children's were a big feature in her videos and posts. Most related to her work selling Thrive products and more importantly, recruiting new sellers by claiming to be making great money and being part of a happy, vibrant family. All bullshit. Go watch The Recovering Hunbop. Okay, I've told you all, I don't know anything about MLMs. Well, I know about them because of this. I'm not on Facebook. So I'm not approached by people who sell MLMs. I don't get the, hey girl, I haven't seen you in 10 year messages. I don't get any of that. I didn't know really what an MLM was until Shannon Watts. They destroy families. I'm serious. Go watch The Recovering Humbug. This is what happened. This woman didn't want a real job. She didn't want to actually be a mother. She wanted the appreciation for being a mother. She had her kids in daycare, five days a week. Very, very expensive daycare. She wanted the admiration for that. Oh, your kids go to, you know, I'm not trying to be a My kid goes to a nice school. And I'm proud to say my kid goes to this school. So I understand that. But we're paying our mortgage. You know, I just was able to get my nails done yesterday. All my bills are paid. You have to pick your priorities. Okay. I'm sorry. I just got so worked up. It. Okay. Start over, Meredith. Yet increasingly strain was showing in the children. I agree. On site, 
shakedowntitle.com in a now deleted video of Shannon's. She apparently states, this is Shannon, Cece's been a crying mess for two weeks. Does being on social media excessively impact on the moods and sense of boundaries of young children? Mm, I don't really understand that. Oh, Nick Vanderlink. You know who he is. Oh, what's he called? Something with crime. His, his thumbnail is a brain or something. I really like him, though. I believe any honest... How do you say that word? Diagnostician. How do you, it would be... Di, di, what's the word? I can't even... Oh, my goodness. Educated here. Of mental disorders, looking at all the evidence regarding Shannon Watts would make post-mortem diagnosis of concomitant narcissistic and antisocial personality disorders, as well as factitious disality, disorder imposed on another. Oh my goodness. You all think I'm just dumb. That was a lot of really big words. That was hard for me to say. I almost should read it again, but I'll move on. Factitious dis disorder. I've read about that as well. And this woman, I'm going to say definitely. That was part, the home and the kids and the husband, it was all part of her fake little life. She had to be better than you were. Maria, Shannon was better than you were. Deborah Sullivan, Shannon was better than you were. All of you. Kindly bear with the presentation of information coming up, as I think the public should know more about personality disorders to be able to pinpoint issues that may be out of their control and to seek help or support. If we hate it, we'll turn it off. Okay, so listen to this. Some of you may never have really looked it up, but what is a personality disorder? Okay, this is the definition given by the Mayo Clinic. A personality disorder is a type of mental illness in which a person has trouble perceiving and relating to situations and to people, including themselves. Hmm. This means that there is a rigid and unhealthy pattern of thinking and behaving impairs relationships. Okay, what? This means that there is a rigid and unhealthy pattern of thinking and behaving impairs relationships and so social encounters. That's just a poorly written sentence. It impairs relationships and social encounters at work and home and school. That was just a very poorly written sentence. Very often, the person does not realize they have this disorder. Instead, theirs is a tendency to blame others when problems arise. It is important to note that there are many types of personality disorders and that in real life, they overlap. So a clear diagnosis is pretty much impossible. This woman had at least three personality disorders. And I apologize, I struggled to read that. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to scan through this. So, I believe Shannon had narcissistic personality disorder. Here are traits of people who have that. A pervasive pattern of grandiosity. Hmm. Did they not buy the biggest possible house in their neighbor neighborhood? Yes. The need for admiration, lack of empathy. Beginning by early adulthood. Okay, so Shannon supposedly had lupus. A few videos ago, I bring up Selena Gomez. She got a liver transplant. She thanked a lot of people. She forgot to thank the person who actually gave her the liver. But Selena Gomez needed a liver transplant because she had lupus. So lupus is a real thing and it does real damage. If you're faking it, it doesn't do shit. But these are two people just getting married and they buy a five bedroom house? What, what the fuck? Why? Because Shannon had a need for admiration. Ugh. Has a grand sense of self-importance exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior. Hmm. Wow, is that not ringing a bell right there? 
is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love. She think about her video. She's on her back porch. She's got her boobies hanging out. A little uh, lavender shirt. Talking about how Chris is the love of her life. Requires excessive admiration. Yep. She did because that's why she was online all the fucking time. Has a sense of entitlement. Drives that Lexus that she can't even pay for. Is interpersonally exploitative. For example, takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends. Well, if you are someone who sells an MLM, isn't that exactly what you're doing? You are being interpersonally exploitative. You are taking advantage of other people and you know what you are selling them is a fucking lie. And the last one is really interesting considering the video we just watched. Lacks empathy. Is unwilling to recognize or identify the feelings or needs of others. Bella made it very, very clear. She did not want to participate. She just wanted to taste the cool whip. Oh my goodness. If anyone were to ever say Shannon didn't suffer from this, just roll your eyes and move on. Okay. Narcissistic and antisocial traits sometimes coexist. However, to complicate matters in certain cases, there are positive correlations between narcissism and antisocial personalities and the conditions that can be comorbid. What kind of word is that? Okay, it means they can coexist. Both of these, uh, narcissistic personality and antisocial, they co-occur with drug and alcohol use problems, but for different reasons. Here's my question. Shannon had all these surgeries, and so she was getting Oxycontin and Percocet, and she never got addicted. But apparently they had Oxy in their basement, so maybe she didn't. But what's sad is she was so fucked up in the head, she didn't even realize what she was doing. Antisocial personality disorder. It just means that people don't give a shit about the other people around them. That, to sum it up. They lack empathy and they tend to be callous, cynical, and... Whoa, whoa! Okay, we're going to get to our next part. Sorry about that. Shannon's history pointed to other manifestations of antisocial personality disorder, such as apparent situations of financial dishonesty, dishonesty and irresponsibility. I'm curious, what did she tell her friends? Hey, every room in my house is decorated except my dining room. Did You know she didn't say my dining room table and chairs were repossessed. I, I guarantee she had a buffet also. How humiliating. Because Shannon had student loans, yet she had no college education. Interesting, eh? A habit of charging up credit cards, even those that belonged to her parents. Bad credit history, and Chris had none of these. Many picked up on Shannon's destructive financial impact on the family. She also had the girls enrolled in full-time private care. Shannon had exclusive control of the family finances. Chris had no access to anything. Chris was home those weeks. He got served with the lawsuit. They were being served by the HOA or sued by the HOA. He probably actually started opening some bills. He was like, what the fuck? This woman killed herself. She did. By pretending to do well, Shannon, Shannon, I just did it. Ah! Shannon had put the family in increasing debt. In the following online discussion, some financial facts were referred to. Okay, here is Shannon replying to a friend. Yes, you're right. We'll have to agree to disagree. However, there is a misconception out there about how much she was making. Okay, I apologize. This isn't Shannon writing this. This is someone else. The discovery documents showed she brought The discovery documents showed she brought less than $10,000 into the house. Lavelle deliberately used 
credits and bonuses to inflate the projected income, but they're not cash. Also, people see that she joined the 80000 level and think that was her income. That was the sales achieved in a three-month period by her whole team. Commission paid to Shannon was about 4%, and any income would have been sucked up by the, all the extras and samples she bought. Well, here was something else very interesting. In the Wisconsin prison interview, Chris noted that Lavelle didn't take taxes out either. So she was getting her gross pay. Do you really think she was putting 30% of that away to pay her taxes? No. She had been in Lavelle two years. I almost guarantee they hadn't filed taxes in a couple of years. Yeah. Shannon, you guys know that dude, 411 now. I like him. He's just a little bit too arrogant for my taste. But he says that Shannon had, I think it was $28,000 of uh, Lavelle product in her basement. $28,000. She was also in many other MLMs. I know for a fact she was in LuLaRoe and 30 bags, 31 bags, 32 bags, something like that. Uh, she was in origami, which is an MLM based for children. But LuLaRoe, once I learned about MLMs, I started getting getting into that. LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe cost $5,000 minimum to join. At this time, it did. And, oh, oh. Where was she getting her money from? And you know that car allowance. If you watch the Recovering Humbot, you can find that. I believe she had to have three new recruits every single month to get her $800 car allowance. Okay. Well, a new recruit has to spend $300 to join. So now it's the end of the month. I need three, but I've got two. Well, isn't it cheaper for me to just create a fake profile, Jane Smith, some janesmith at gmail.com and sign up using my own debit card and I have to pay $300, right? Well, then I've got my three recruits and so I get my $800 car bonus. She's got to pay that again next month because Jane has to be on for three months for her to be considered actually real. I guarantee Shannon had a couple of fake profiles. Uh, we know for a fact she paid for the Thrive for the Watts family because Ronnie's wearing patches and he says he never paid for them. I would absolutely believe it. Let's face it. Shannon had a history of financial irresponsibility. One bankruptcy, right? <laughs> one bankruptcy under her belt. Another one about to have occurred. Yes, they were just moments away from that. She seems to have no concept that when your credit cards are maxed out and you are taking out loans against your 401k that you probably shouldn't be spending $500 a week on private schooling for three-year-old kids and living in a tacky McMansion. I'm adding this part. And spending $60 every week to get your nails done. I can't help but feel with two adults and two kids under five oh wait, and a dog. Okay, I just took Floyd to the vet a week ago. It was 400 and some dollars. Animals cost money as well. Okay. You probably don't need three bathrooms. Well, hold on. They had more than that. They had one in their bedroom, one in the girls' room, and then there was another one upstairs, and then there was the one on the main level next to her office, so they had four bathrooms. And remember, when her parents were living in her home for $1,000 a month rent, she made them stay in the basement. So they didn't even have a bathroom. She couldn't allow them to have the office, bedroom, bathroom combo on the main level. Okay, anyway. To top it off, she was involved in this dodgy MLM scheme. So nothing would surprise me with her and anything financially related. Uh, remember, she met Chris. She found out he had 30K or 20K in savings. And three weeks later, she quit her job. She was very easily able to tell she could manipulate this man and she literally quit her job three weeks okay couple files for bankruptcy in 2015 as stunned friends seek answers on how the love story of a couple that seems so picture perfect could end so tragically bankruptly 
bankruptcy filings reveal a family that struggled financially. Remember, the Watts family did not know Shannon had declared bankruptcy, and I have never heard if the Ruzex did or not. Chris and Shannon filed for bankruptcy in June 2015, according to documents in the court record. That was after they bought their house, 400000 Okay, where I live, a $400,000 house is not going to get you much. Sorry. The year prior to the bankruptcy filing, the couple had a combined income of ninety-one k, most of it earned by Chris, who earned about sixty-three at his job at Anadarko. The rest was earned by Shannon Watts. Still, they were $70,000 in debt, most of it from student loans and credit card purchases. Okay. So, student loans, yet neither one of them had a degree, so I'm not really sure where these student loans come from. But do you remember Chris talked about they had to file bankruptcy because of the medical bills. In Colorado, medical bills are not filed under the regular bankruptcy. It's a different kind of bankruptcy. But even this article right here, and it's CNN, so it's obviously not terribly accurate. They don't say anything about medical bills. It's all credit card. And... Three years later, Shannon was able to uh, double that. They had 70000 when she died. The psychopath... <laughs> These psychopathologies. Psychopathologies. Oh, that's a good word. I'll have to look it up. Mentioned. And Shannon's MLM involvement would have interacted and potentiated with each other. Fucking A. Oh, cute shirt, though. Abnormal behavior and psychopathy in populations have been extensively studied and tracked for decades. It is important to refer to this research in true crime cases in order to understand how things went tragically wrong, one way or another. We know how it went wrong. She was a fucking nut job. She didn't allow this man to think. Yeah, we all, guys, we're bad mouthing her, but. Pray for these souls, especially the girls. I, I don't care about much about her. Yeah, just call me a bitch. I don't care. Uh, so look, tell me what you think. I assume you were, you know what? I'll I'll see you in a minute. That was a little depressing, wasn't it? Yeah, it's sad. I, the whole thing is so sad. Uh, what what I find really interesting is that Shannon's parents didn't call her out they we know that they were co-signers on another credit card that she had maxed out it had a 37 three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollar credit limit or something and her father was a co-signer so they knew she had issues but why didn't they just say hey girlfriend you know chill i i almost oh i did finally get my nails done oh my mortgage is paid but, uh got me depressed it, it's sad she put those children through that and thank goodness Cece was just too young to get it Ugh. okay if you're still watching right now I'm terribly humbled I truly am thank you I'm shocked hit like hit subscribe give me your thoughts below I'll see you again soon